The drone industry has very much been in a state of doom and gloom for the last few months. However, that might be about to change with the release of Insta360's first drone. However, it isn't just a drone. Insta360 appeared to be releasing a suite of new products to take the fight directly to DJI, and this couldn't have come at a worse time for them because right now, DJI can't even get products into the US and they are facing a potential ban at the end of the year that leaves the market wide open and Insta360 could be about to step straight into it. Now, the current situation with DJI is complex and I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but I do have a separate video talking about that specifically specifically, and if you're interested in that, I will put a link to it in the description, so please consider checking it out. However, what's really interesting here is what Insta360 is doing because they appear to be entering the consumer drone market. Over the last few months, we started to see leaks appear online for a new range of products called Anti-Gravity. As you can see in the image, there actually appears to be two drones, a Mavic style drone, which is going to offer a 360 degree camera, and then a more FPV centric drone, a bit like the DJI Avata 2. In the various images that have leaked, we can get a bit more information information about the product so you can see the larger aircraft there seems to sit somewhere between the A series and the Mavic series from DJI and the leaks suggest that this drone is going to be fitted with a 360 degree camera. You can also see that smaller quad down there seems a flatter design than we've seen from the likes of the DJI Avata and the Avata 2 however they definitely appear to have two drones covering two different segments. Here we can see a more close-up image of the back of this quad and you appear to be able to see a 360 degree lens on top with another one showing down below and the battery going in the rear. It is a very similar design from the back end perspective to some of the bigger DJI drones but it certainly isn't a DJI drone and as you can see it does look to have some very interesting new features. This more FPV centric drone looks interesting as well. It appears to have built in prop guards. You can see here, it looks like there's a big long design with the battery probably goes in from the back in the middle. And again, it isn't clear if this is going to offer a 360 view or more of a standard view compared to the larger model. Finally here, you can see them side by side. And what's interesting is there isn't actually a lot of difference in sheer size between them, although the body on the larger camera style drone is definitely a lot deeper. Alongside the drones themselves, Insta360 also appear to be releasing a range of accessories, including a set of FPV goggles. More leaked images from Igor show the drone in the back of a car. This seems to be more of a production model in its normal color. You can see again that camera on the top. There also appears to be a motion style controller over here as well. Some batteries and if we look through the other images we can see that there's actually even a set of FPV goggles being used. This in combination with what appears to be the motion controller means that Insta360 appear to be directly taking on what DJI have on some of their consumer drones on the likes of the Avata 2 and the Goggles 3 and the RC Motion. Further to this, a video has now leaked online showing a torn down version of a test unit that gives us a lot more information. If we take a look, you can see on the bottom here, we have one of the lenses for the camera pointing down. We've got one of the main PCBs. You can see it then rotate through to the battery bay at the back with a USB port, as well as an SD card slot. We've got an antenna cable hanging off the back. This appears to be either RC controlling or even video. And then as it moves around, we can see on the top, we've got another lens. We've got a GPS module as well. What's interesting is when it comes round to the front though. So here you can see that we actually have a large blank area here, which is a little bit strange, but then there appears to be two cameras, one at the top and one at the bottom. This might be front view cameras to allow you to fly with FPV, but this also could be object sensing cameras to again offer things like object tracking and object avoidance like we've seen on some of the DJI drones as well. What's incredibly interesting about this isn't just the fact that Insta have made a drone, they would have had to have built an entire ecosystem, a wireless digital FPV system as well that is capable of not only transmitting high quality video but potentially 
360 video live as well. We are in to completely new and uncharted waters with this because no one really today has come up with a solution that matches DJI OcuSync and Insta360 might be able to deliver something here unlike we have seen before. Now, as for when you're going to be able to buy this, well, it isn't clear, but launch is imminent and they even have some marketing materials up, apparently showing the goggles. They also have their anti-gravity website, which I will link to in the description. At the moment, it isn't really showing a lot. However, it is worth keeping an eye on as we head into this launch. As I've mentioned, this couldn't have come at a worse time for DJI because not only are they struggling to get their products into the US right now, they are facing a potential ban at the end of the year. And now one of their biggest competitors in action cameras is entering the drone market and entering an area that is left wide open. And what is interesting about this is whilst Insta360 might not be perfect, they are not a company that has a long history of data privacy question marks like DJI have had. And whilst they are not a US or a American company, they are certainly a well-known brand and are likely to be accepted quite easily compared to a completely unknown company. Now, what for me is extremely interesting in this isn't just the fact that it's a drone. It's the whole ecosystem that they already appear to be building around it. And they actually seem to be doing something that DJI could have done years ago. And in fact, technology that they gave up on. Insta bringing a drone with 360 capability is really interesting. If they have then completely developed their own wireless video link that can provide high quality video that is really going to open the doors. And could we even see Insta360 enter the FPV market with standalone products as well? Also, this is an area that no one has done. No one has a off-the-shelf 360 drone today. And the crazy thing is, DJI actually started doing stuff like this years ago with their original white FPV goggles and the Mavic E, which could create these 360 degree shots that you could then look at in the goggles. And whilst it wasn't live, it was the beginnings of 360 degree in drones and they completely abandoned it. If Insta360 can deliver an extremely immersive 360 degree live view, it is going to be unlike anything from anyone else and it will set them apart and it will create a buzz around a new brand entering the industry. There is no downsides to this at all and only benefits and I really hope what Insta do here does bring the fight to DJI because we need it. We need DJI not only to be pushed when they are in a market, but we need products when they're not as we have today. Now, when this product comes out, I am going to be buying it. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on that, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you'd like to support us to allow us to be able to buy products like this, please consider also checking out the link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us, please consider checking it out. I want to say an enormous thank you to every single Patreon who follows the channel. We would not be able to do this without your support. Okay, so that's it from me. If you're interested in watching more content from me, I recently tore down this DJI Osmo 360. I managed in the end to get it apart. We had a look inside, we got the boards out and we tried to see if we could change the lens. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll put a link to that video somewhere over here.